hello and welcome back to my channel i just want to say my last couple of videos my room probably looks like a right mess we've been doing it at the nursery so um while we wait for his furniture to arrive and his new kind of flooring everything is in here so my life is really messy and we've started washing all the baby clothes so um <laughs> yeah it's it's chaos here so right here are my five top ivf tips number one support be careful who you tell make sure you tell people that you know a hundred percent are going to support you hundred percent going to support you and highlight what you need from them so make sure that if you tell them so you know i'm going through ivf or whatever fertility treatment you're going through can you do this can you not do this like you might not want to talk about it you might not want them to ask you you know how are you feeling blah, blah, blah. you might not want that if you can kind of think about what you need from that person that will help because i think a lot of people don't know what you will need number two get healthy now this doesn't mean necessarily lose weight um if you have been told to lose weight then you might need to i know that the nhs guidelines here in the uk you need to be a bmi of 30 or below so think about the everything you're going through you need your body to be like amazingly healthy so i i personally if i eat loads of sugar and rubbish i feel tired and lethargic and achy and i can't sleep um so that's not really going to do my body much good and especially when you're in the prep and you're building like your lining trying to you're full of those hormones those freaking hormones you want to feel as good as you you can so um i'll probably film a separate video of what i was actually eating in the run up to my rvf because i think that might be helpful and it might show you how healthy i was and i did lose like a ton of weight because of it as well and considering i'd been put on a quadruple dose of hrt it would have normally gone the other way. I did put on a little bit of weight, um, but a lot of it is um, bloat from the progesterone, if you've ever been on it. Beautiful drug. <laughs> Makes you feel amazing. <clears throat> um, exercise. Now, exercise, again, it's not about losing weight. It's not about doing hit or insanity. It's about... We've done this a lot. And uh, we haven't through my pregnancy because I'm having like swollen ankles, a typical pregnancy thing at the moment. But we would go for a walk every lunchtime and we chat a lot. We talk about everything and we talk about the IVF and the process and what would happen if this went wrong or this didn't work or this did work. And we spoke about everything. So as a couple, it was really good to go for a walk and de-stress. And obviously exercise is going to de-stress you as well. Um, I'm a massive yogi, so I was going to yoga and it chilled me out and I'd do little things. So you've got to find an exercise that works for you, but it's so good mentally to have that release as well. And it's so good for your body. Superfoods, again, I love, do love my superfoods. I get a lot of stick for it, but I do. <laughs> um, so, you know, things like flaxseed and chia seeds and spinach and spirulina and things like that everything that just makes you so so healthy and i just whack it all in one smoothie every day and it's done and it just makes me feel like i'm doing something positive for my body and it's positive for my mind so um yeah you may feel that's a little hoo-ha it's up to you <laughs> um um positivity now i'm not very positive um i think especially when it comes to my fat self i think especially because of my young diagnosis it's made me quite insecure and pessimistic but i i was actually quite impressed with myself how i turned that around in the run up to the ivf so i kind of got to the point where i was doing everything i could like eating well and a lot of it because they weren't my eggs were out of my hand but i acted like they weren't so i ate a re ate <laughs> i did eat a really really um healthy diet lots of exercise and i try to take um meditation is not really the word for me because of that it doesn't really sit with me but relaxation more if i try and meditate my brain just doesn't really get it so i'd try and do like five minutes a day where i put some really relaxing music on and just like lay or sit and have no technology going or anything like that and and that really really helped especially with my sleep because i'm a champion at insomnia a champion it's when all like every thought goes into your head <laughs> ever so um yeah so 
find um, a way to be positive. Live for the now, I've written down. <laughs> so it's a good way to think about it because I always kind of live in the future. And again, I think that comes from being young and prepping way too far in advance. So try and just take a step back. Um, yeah. And, and think of it that way and we try to think okay we're about to go through this let's have some fun now because it's going to get serious and then if all, go, all goes well we're going to be parents we're not going to be able to do this that and the other so kind of turn it around and there's a quote that I'm going to try and find the picture here it's like worrying is like walking around with an umbrella waiting for it to rain I was like oh my god that's so simple but true yeah <laughs> Okay, mental release. This kind of overlaps what I've just said about positivity. Relaxation, meditation, shopping, writing a vlog, but blog, like YouTube helped me so much. I actually think I would have struggled a lot more if I wasn't making these videos. It was a way for me to document like what I've researched, which helped me process it. I am dyslexic, so kind of reading and then talking about it and absorbing it really helped me. But the amount of you I mean, had someone else contact me yesterday. The amount of you that have helped me is unreal. And you, you may think those little comments don't touch me. And they, they do. They really, really do. I've had more help than people that are physically in my life. From people that I've not met. And people sharing their experiences with me. Um, and consoling me. And it's so good. Um, but... I'm not necessarily saying do YouTube, but you might want to do a, a blog. And a blog's quite good because it's almost like a diary. You don't know who's going to read it. It might not get read, but you've spent that time writing down your feelings. So have a little think of what your mental relief will be. It might just be going on a shopping spree. But if you're paying for IVF you know, like we did, you might not be able to do that. But um, yeah, just, you know, have something that works for you. And again, there's so many meditation apps which are great. And even though I said they don't sit with me particularly well, I can't do it on my own. But the apps do help me and sometimes I did do them. And I did do it the day of transfer. I had the, I think it was called Mindful IVF, your relationship. Now, I know some of you might be going through IVF on your own. So this might not be applicable, but you might, you know, want to talk to a close friend. But with your partner, and I've seen this in a lot of groups, it feels like the focus is on the person like the woman that's that's having the embryo put in and i think if you're in a relationship and you're going through fertility treatment you obviously both want this every time i'd you know get upset about something i would always then ask how are you feeling and be honest with me don't try and be strong to not worry me i want to know how you feel and we had this you know open communication all the way through we still do now he's had worried worries about the pregnancy being a dad and uh, i think most people do um but i think that's why we didn't clash and i didn't lose my mind at him or anything like that we had such a positive ivf experience um because we just speak about everything we we talk too much anyway um but we talked through all the options and luckily we're on the same page that always does help um but then like i've mentioned above um we then thought right let's do this let's go you know let's go have a last time that we do this and you know but just a couple of weeks before the ivf i don't really drink we went and <laughs> really drunk together because i wouldn't be able to do it for a while and um you know we did talk about you know what we'll do with we started talking about the nursery we had our name picked before we even had ivf we had the names picked for a boy and a girl and um where we'd go on the first holiday this that and the other and we we dreamt and i know it's really hard when you're dreaming about having a family because you do have that inkling like but it won't happen but you can dream so it's not a bad thing so that those are my top tips and though they're probably quite like holistic um but that is what worked for me those are my little five top tips i hope they're kind of helpful um and i'll see you in the next one bye